Lazy Bum Yakuza. I'm Akihiro Washio, an organized crime department detective. I'm in charge of the Oban clan, a large syndicate. I've been in touch with some members of the Imagawa clan, an affiliate of the Oban clan. I'm not too sure if we're an enemy to each other. Of course, we're not friends either. It's raining. I heard it'd get heavy tonight. I hate downpours. They narrow people's vision. They wash off proof and overpower sounds. They give criminals a lot of advantages. I work the night shift, but they might call me in. Huh? Is he feeling sick? Are you okay? Ugh! <laughs> what the? A robber? An unhinged assailant? Anyway, I gotta pin him down and call back up. He's got a stun gun, but I'm sure it's from the market. It hurt me, but I can put up with the pain. Don't move! I'm a cop! Put it down! Damn it! They told me he'd pass out! Arai! Genta! Ugh. Get him up! Hurry! Are you sure? He's still conscious. We have no choice. This stun gun is a joke. Hurry up. Tie him up in the car. Damn it. I feel dizzy. He's Okamoto from the Kaiten clan. I heard he was expelled from the clan. Why did he attack me? Wait. Someone told me that he was hostile toward Makimura. We gotta go now. I gotta call Mori-san and Makimura. This is Washio's smartphone. We were able to unlock it with his fingerprints. Did you do it the way I told you? Yeah. I found the Mori in his address book and texted him, like, I have a high fever. I wrote it might be the coronavirus and he can't return calls for a while because he'll go to the hospital. Okay, okay. It'll buy us some time. Are you sure Mori will buy that? He'll feel suspicious. Shut up! We need just a few days and that's enough. We could take money out of his bank account, right? He's got a lot. You moron! No, we can't! They'll track us! Listen to me. We don't want them to know what happened to Washio. We gotta make it so that it looks like he's fine. Mm. When's the girl coming? I don't know. Any minute now. Prepare the drug. You got that? You know... There'll be trouble. He's a cop. I don't care. Okamoto-san will take responsibility. They'll make him. I heard Shinkai-san already expelled them from the clan. I don't know. What will be, will be. Yeah. I... I did it! We have him in custody. Everything is going great! Is Shinkai-san... Shinkai-san? Whatever you did, we have nothing to do with it because you've been expelled. You know that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sorry. Delete the pictures you sent to me earlier. It's a burner phone, but make sure to get rid of it later. Y yeah Okay, whatever happens from now on, we have nothing to do with it. Good luck. Could I say, how's it going? Like this. <laughs> Serves him right. Guess I should come by later. Do you want to observe the shoot? You're a man of culture. You can't join them today. Huh? The chairman of the Manju clan passed away. I got a call earlier. That old man died, huh? Yes. Died of pneumonia. He was 92 years old. He was one of the Oban clan's advisors. All the executives are expected to attend his funeral. I'm gonna have to ask you to get ready now. We can be late. Such a pain in the ass. No, we can't be late. We can't book any large funeral hall in town because of the laws against Yakuza, so the funeral will take place at one of the Manju clan's buildings in their hometown. Hometown? It's the countryside, right? Yes. To make matters worse, a typhoon is coming. The roads might be closed to traffic later. We don't have much time till then. We lost the trust of many clans because of the event from the other day. We have to go to the funeral and we should arrive with time to spare. <sighs> Fine. Tell Okamoto that he can never kill the cop. He's aware of that. And the fact that a single mistake will lead him to death this time. I'm Yutsuka Makimura. I'm the assistant to junior head of the Imagawa clan. Oh, are you going to the funeral, Noguchi-san? 
It was the chairman of the Manju clan. I have to go. Did he have to die when a typhoon is coming? Even we'll refrain from any activities after disaster. Usually, they push the funeral back for a couple of days, but the Manju clan is old-fashioned. They aren't reasonable. And there are many guys who think of the situation as a chance to show their loyalty. Like it's an abusive company to work for. Should I go too? No, I don't think so. Kodaka. Yes. There's some more guys in our clan who are close to the chairman. They'll also go to the funeral. Give us a ride. Go to the office and get my suit and some money. I'll take it along as a funeral offering. Got it. The chairman was really old, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a couple of years over 90. He was an old friend of our clan's boss. It might be a bit late to ask you this question, but what kind of organization is the Obon clan? I have no clue. Isanji-san is the headquarters manager, right? Is his position higher than the junior head? And I don't know anything about the Manju clan. Well, getting mad at you won't help me. Oh, whoa, I don't want you to give up on me either. First of all, the head of the Obon clan started his career in the Manju clan. The clan was already somewhat popular back then. The head went independent at one point and started the Obon clan. Our clan's boss also used to belong to the Manju clan. Oh, I didn't know that. However, the Manju clan has been downsized over the past decades. The chairman has been an advisor of the Obon clan, but it was just a formality. Um, the Obon clan doesn't have a junior head, right? Isn't that unusual for your Yakuza clan? Usually, a junior head is second in command. It's like a company vice president. They had one, but he left the clan during the previous war because he turned hostile. They've been without a junior head since. We can say that Isiji-san, the headquarters manager, is second in command, but... But? Rumor has it that the head plans stimulating the whole clan by putting his favorite executive as the new junior head. You know his name? It's Yutaka Makimira. You're not talking about me, are you? No, 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 no. I can't do that. Help me, Noguchi-san. If you want me to help, you stop achieving a lot. I told you. I'm scared too because the head might actually choose you. There's no such thing as a manager in our clan. And I'll be a manager? The manager of the headquarters? That's crazy. Tell me you also think that's crazy. Our clan's boss was the brother's leader. Basically, every large Yakuza clan has a headquarters manager, junior head, and brother's leader. Our boss, the Imagawa clan's head, was the brother's leader of the Obon clan. He was in a higher position than I thought. The head of the Obon clan is a bit too emotional for a large syndicate's boss. He's a nice man, he's smart, but he can be reckless sometimes. Well, yeah, he goes with the flow quite often. Some people liked him for that, and some others didn't trust him because of that. Our boss pulled them together. The Obon clan was operating as one coherent entity because of the support of our boss and Isiji-san. But our boss retired. Isiji-san is still around, so we're working out. But I gotta admit that the Obon clan has become lax. That's why a jerk like Shinkai was able to go up the ladder. I really hope someone will kill him. He's scary. Thank you for watching our videos. We upload new videos every week. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new content. Every comment helps our channel. Please feel free to leave your comments.